Nityanand guys, welcoming you back with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashiva. Today's video, I have some nice videos to show you and to kind of give a more visual experience of the space of Paramashivoham. But before we jump into all this, uh, I just want to invite you to check the latest uh, music video that uh, I released on the channel. Uh, a Tamil devotional song uh, called Patum Nani. So I'm putting the link uh, in the description below. So inviting you to check it out. Uh, it is a very nice devotional song which talks about the space of Paramashivoham. And I'll make a video about it uh, in the near future. Uh, and how, you know, how this song and the lyrics of the songs are clicking with me and all that. So uh, that being said, today's video I want to talk about the spiritual journey. Uh, the experience of the guru-disciple relationship and how in that spiritual journey and in that guru-disciple relationship you basically learn or I could say re re relearn how to experience yourself especially when you face situations that are uh, unusual to you that you are not used to so Swanji was saying the part that you know what you know about you is only 2% of what of who you truly are. The 98 or 99%, which is uh, 1 or 2%, so 98 or 99%, it uh, doesn't really matter. It's just to show you the importance of uh, the, the ratio of knowledge towards uh, what we know as us and what is us, but we do not know. So the unknown, your relationship with the unknown becomes better when you know yourself. The more you know you, the more you can handle the unknown. That's what I would basically say. That's the main click I got from everything that Swamiji is sharing um, in his discourses. So the unknown, a, a situation which is unknown outside of you is a reflection of a dimension of you which you have decided to forget, which you are avoiding to remember and therefore do not feel comfortable and powerful um, engaging with or facing. And it's all about the space of Paramashivoham, how to be powerful all the time. When you will be going for work in many situations, you'll be put in situations where it is very much unknown to you um, and you don't know how to handle it sometimes. You know, you might create unnecessary stress for yourself. You might start to generate anxiety, anger, frustration, depression, sadness, boredom, laziness, whatever. You can start to generate all kinds of negative emotions. Uh, by that, I mean emotions which will not help you to handle that situation successfully and powerfully. So that's why being initiated into the truth of Paramashivam is very important. You are Paramashiva, you are the superconsciousness beyond everything which is manifested, unmanifested and unborn. So, um, so that is very important. Um, so here I, I just want to show a clip. This is basically when we face a situation where we are in the unknown and we are too stuck to our cognition about us, what we think of us. The more you are attached to what you think of you, the more resistance you will have to engage with a situation which is unknown. So let's just have a quick look uh, of a beautiful clip. It's a cat. So in this clip you can see how the cat in front of a very simple situation having uh, aluminium foil on the ground but for him it's a very unknown experience for whatever reason. I don't know why cats do feel like that. Maybe the crunchiness you know makes them on puts them on edge. Maybe the reflection makes them think of water or I'm not sure why they're uh, so uncomfortable with this 
but they are. And this is the space we are in. When you're too attached to your identity, in that case, you know, the cat believes he's a cat and he's, he's stuck in that cat body with the cat, whatever psychology, I don't know if cats have, to what level extent they have a brain and how to how it works. But, uh, but yeah, they do have a brain, but how it works. Um, so, so they are stuck in that and therefore, you know, you can see how much he's hesitating. And we are responding in the same way in life when we are also too stuck uh, with the ideas we have about us. And the problem is that most of the ideas we have about us are, bound, are binding us. So it puts us into a state of powerlessness. So you see the hesitance or the... See, going slowly is not the problem, but how you feel inside. If you are too stuck with your ideas of you which are binding you, you will experience powerlessness. When you experience powerlessness, you start to generate stress, anger, frustration, depression, sadness, all these things, and then your life becomes worse and worse. But when you remember the space of Paramashivoham, and when you seek towards re, uh, remembering that space of Paramashivoham, um, you have that, you know, you entertain this, this prayerful mood where you, you connect with Paramashiva as the ultimate, and you ask him to please help me to remember who I am, make me remember you in me. And like that, uh, when that process happens, we become more and more powerful and we are less stuck in these situations which are unknown to us, uh, situations which are making us feel insecure, um, uncomfortable, scared, whatever. So um, here there's another clip I want to show of Swamiji. Swamiji is, uh, is actually walking on coals or fire, uh, hot coals, uh, fire charcoals. And that's a practice they do in traditional Hinduism for various reasons. Uh, one of them is to bring back the sensitivity to the feet because for enlightenment it's very important for the body to be sensitive. So once in a while they go through this process, but they go through a certain ritual and they get into a certain space to do it. But you can see how Swamiji is walking on the coal and actually so many disciples also walked after him. But you can see the powerfulness that Swamiji has when he walks on the coal. And that shows that, you know, the space of Paramashivoham. So let's have a quick look now. So in this video, it's obvious, you know, you can see the whole setup in the space that Swamiji is carrying and as he engages with this unknown situation, because I mean, it is unknown in the way, yes, you know, it will burn you, but you will not know if it will burn your foot, if you'll be able to go through it, if you'll give up halfway. There's so many uh, questions that can arise or so many possibilities which can arise at any point before you enter it, while you're in it or while you're after it. And in front of all this unknown, these possibilities, which could be uh, damaging you, you know, some of these possibilities are very frightening, your feet being burned, or what if you fall, you trip, and you fall your face on the cold charcoal, you know, there's so many things that could happen. But when you are in the space of Paramashivoham, you do not feel powerless in front of the unknown, and you simply declare consciously what you're going to do, you get into that space and simply do it. And the more you do that in your daily life, the more you fully establish yourself in that space and you start to create your life consciously. And there is no more question of stress and all the side effects of it. There's no question of anger, no questions of fear, of depression. Everything becomes redundant because you are powerful all the time. So that's what I want to share with you guys. 2020 is the year of Paramashivoham and Sri Kailasa. So let's contemplate about what is the space of Paramashivoham. Let us have a prayerful mood 
to engage with Paramashiva Swamiji and ask him to show us what is the space of Paramashivam, make us experience the space of Paramashivam so that we know what it is and we can fully establish ourselves into that. And uh, yeah, tell me, write your comments below. What did you think about the clips? And uh, inviting you again, thanking you a lot for watching all these videos. Really much appreciating this. So let's spread this uh, powerful cognition of Paramashivam to the world and show that Sanatana Hindu Dharma has the answer that everybody is looking for as an individual, a customized answer. If you want to know more about that, check the latest video I've uploaded um, about Hinduism is not chaotic, far from it. And uh, yes, so inviting you to subscribe, click the bell icon, like, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much again. Nitehanda. Thank <laughs> you.